Hello hair lovers, in the next few minutes I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that super sexy Cheryl Cole updo. We're bringing all the elements, we're talking 60s, we're talking movement, we're talking shine, up, it's going to be absolutely mega. But you need one of these little babies, I absolutely love them, it's the cornerstone of my kit, it's the uh, hair couture sleek half head wig, it's bang on the money. Right, you'll see what I've done. High ponytail, hair's really, really fine. We want lots of looks, decadent volume. First of all, you've got to prep this beautiful hair couture half head wig. It comes out looking sleek and silky. I want to take a little bit of that away, maintain it on the ends, but to get the volume, you've got to hit it with this bad boy stuff, dry shampoo, and just hammer it with dry shampoo and give it a shake. And what that does is mat it out a little bit. It makes it feel a bit more lived in. You can color match it perfectly. So we've given it something now. Section's really important. Just go to the top of the ear. And what that's gonna do is use your natural hair, maybe tongue it a little bit. I kissed it with the tongs very, very quickly. When you're gonna go over the top, you've got these little clips. These are your best friends, because that's what's gonna stop it moving when it's on your head. Really easy. Jump on top, catch it, slide it in. Underneath, exactly the same. Catch it at the hairline and slide that up into the head. Right, everyone's head's a different size. So take the draw cord and just pull it in as tight as you can and that's just gonna give it a nice tension and stop it moving even more. So you can see, I mean that looks cool already. It's given us some drama. Now we've got the part in and we need to cover that ideally but without losing too much of this texture. So really, really easy, we're just going to Take some sections in front and just kiss those roots. Kiss the roots and bring them back. And kiss those roots and just bring them back, covering the band. So when we've back comb this, just to cover the seam and give it a little bit more volume, we're gonna bring it up into a nice, delicate, but falling chignon. You need to get this going in almost one go. And the best thing you can do is just giving it a little twist in at the nape and then pin just a couple of grips in to lock it into position. Thumb in and flip it over. And as soon as you've flipped it over once, then you're rocking and that's when you start pinning. And you can do this with half a dozen grips, the shorter your hair is. And you can see here, I've just started, it's almost started to work, and then, but you wanna keep all that gorgeous texture, you know, I love that texture. I'm gonna continue pulling this round whilst leaving just cute little tendrils out. So finish it off by just gently dusting with some hairspray, and then what you're gonna do He's going to use these really delicate, cute little pins. What they allow us to do is go into the most intricate places and just gently take curls and pin them in without it looking too set in stone and too strong. Because ultimately, this look is all about being fuss free, lived in, beautiful, gorgeous, Cheryl Cole hair. And to achieve that, you need to use the Hair Couture Half Head Wig. And that just gives copious amounts of volume, loads of drama, shine, texture. Super easy for you to guys to do at home.